Atkins and Manley and Mardell. There was no pressure on him last year. There's pressure on him this time. How will he go with that? Dave Lanning and John Gwynn. That's right, it's uh, 352 days since young Kirk Shepard last stood on that stage and of course was beaten by John Part in that final at the end of the most remarkable and memorable fortnight of his young life and uh, sometimes it's easy to forget Dave Lanning that he's still a youngster at 22 for all that he did last year. Hometown Ramsgate tells me he's moved to Birmingham now. So he uh, says I'm very, very much, though, a lad from Kent, although resident in Brum. Kirk on another Star Trek. Following his Christmas star, can he repeat last year's performance? He faces a redoubtable Dutchman. Jan van der Russell walked in to the music of the swords of a thousand men, Tentpole Tudor. Can he put last year's runner-up to the sword? He is a considerable performer, steady, uncomplicated, unemotional, and uh, Kirk Shepard knows he has got a considerable handful to contain here. Van der Russell with the darts so will Kirk Shepherd have a hassle 93. from Randall Russell well the first darts he's thrown on this stage as I say for almost 12 months and uh, a familiar face 97. for all that he hasn't had the best of years since still very very much a man on a mission boldly <laughs> trying to go where he went once before 140 this lad Kurt Shepherd and a good 140 from Jan van der Rassel who comes from Hugo Heide near uh, Antwerp actually quite close to the 80. Belgian border in the far south of Holland originates from the Hague Den Haag that's his favorite football team and one of the best left-handers in the game, Dave. Yeah. Not too many of them. We'll see one of them later tonight. Uh, James Wade begins his attempt to become world champion. Now, the Dutchman uh, has taken out some seasoned pros in this world championship. Last year, he beat Colin Lloyd and Dennis Ovens. Lloyd has gone again this year, sadly. Ovens, though, had one of his more steady performances, and he's gone through. Who will prosper? Between 60. Kirk Shepherd and Jan van der Russell. Best of five sets, just a reminder there. Yes, the winner of this actually takes on Yellow Class, and it was January most impressive yesterday. Well, I did say he was boldly trying to go. Uh, just beat you to it, pal. Uh, full marks for 60. artistry, though. Very clear, very clean, very presentable. The winner plays Yellow Klassen in what could be an either all Dutch affair or a, a real battle between two youngsters as uh, yeah, Kirk Shepard leaves himself there on 15. Wanted the 25 really, but I don't think he'll be too perturbed should he come back because Van der Assel, that's not a good first dart. Can't even have a shot at ball now. Needed the treble 15. Let himself down there. That's needed the two eights. 20s for the ball. So Kirk 15 wanted 15. for Kirk Shepard here to get an early blow in here double six double three back down to the bottom of the board nine score well two yeah, darts and a double 52. there and van der russell has 52 and he has two darts at double top to hold his throw in that really he knows that is right out there in the more circular road 36 Kirk requires six. Awkward lie, very awkward lie. Dropped a dart as well, picked it up. Will he be able to pick up uh, the pieces from there? Even more awkward now. Got to move, and uh, it's so frightened you see of going in single three. Requires 16. But he's throwing far too south of double three. Let's see what happens here now with the left-handed Van der Russell. Yes, clever dart on the inside of the marker. Second 
81. Yes, it's something I don't want to mention more than once, but we have to remind 60. ourselves that Kirk Shepard last year rolled his luck. Uh, just about every game he played, there were missed starts at the double. Terry Jenkins, five or six, maybe even seven. Uh, 13, I think, through the competition as a whole and his march to the final. But full credit to the lad, he made it. And uh, I managed to have a chat with him an hour, hour and a half ago. And uh, well, he's reasonably confident that he can... Uh, make this stage his again this year Dave why not ah, Christmas is a time for fairy stories <laughs> 100 and, uh, young Kirk really lived his to the fullest extent last year just can't see this year uh, 100 an outsider like him getting all the way but uh, we've been wrong before well, that's a grim assessment, if I may 41. say so, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> Moves across, changes the angle, left-hander nicely as well, very effectively. Easy. Not sure where that was, in or out, but uh, either way, it counts as now. along at a uh, steady old pace doesn't he young Shepherd and uh, he needs he will be thinking or oh, possibly is out of his mind now that he had six starts at a double to win that first leg not the most uh, 85 convincing of starts 137 137 97 left would have left tops had he hit the treble yeah, 19, but uh, probably will be back. Needed uh, treble 17 there. Not really settled into his stride, Van der Russell. 43. Uh, despite the fact that he's uh, won the first leg. 18, 20, and tops. Double 12, having got the treble 18. Yeah, and that's the uh, very Kirk efficient Kirk. indeed. Rounding them up nicely Yang there. The Shepherd. Game on. Yes, that's a double. That levels the game. And as you were saying, John, neither player really settling into the group. Still a bit shell shocked to bite that performance from uh, Paul Nicholson last up because he got straight in the groove and didn't relent right through. Yes, interesting. Our second whitewash, is it not? 58. Uh, Phil Taylor won without dropping a leg. Um, and they had identical averages, so one presumes that they took exactly the same number of darts to polish off their opponent, respectively. 95. Quantum mathematics from Professor Gwynn. 100. Uh, common sense, obviously. Nine legs played, same average, therefore same number of darts used. 99. Well, it's interesting because we saw the the averages table there just before coming on. And we, there was one loser 97. who uh, was in the top. Yes, eight. I think Michael might Barnett. have been two uh, when I saw the earlier table. One of them might have dropped out as a result of Nicholson's victory. 100. Yeah, and you require 112. 112 to regain the lead. 12 would leave tops. That's the shot. 92. And that's far too low. He has been a little unconvincing with a couple of the first dart and double. Seems to need a, an illuminated pathfinder. One time to improve here, Dave. Yeah, uh, double 10. 20. To go 2 1 up. Got to go upstairs now to fives. I think. Ten's good. Yeah, I think Shepard will get another Kirk goal. I think 106 is very gettable for Kirk Shepard. It is now. Now double top. Yeah, well, the I Kirk didn't Shepard. have the crystal ball beside Kirk me, Kirk but Shepard Senior. Game on. 
sees Shepard Jr. take out 106 very cleanly, very clinically, and uh, could he be on his way, having broken throw, to winning this set? Young Shep. 140. An uh, a dog called old Shep. Wow. Young Shep uh, is getting 99. his teeth into this match now. Yes, uh, Kirk Shepherd, now resident in West Midlands in Birmingham, and uh, he's actually going to 60. be a father for the first time in uh, about a month. His uh, partner, who's here, is uh, going to give birth. He, he, he said in exactly a month's time, and there she is. Well, Kirk has left himself finish 157, albeit uh, a crowd pleaser if he can achieve it. 180! Beautiful to watch. Great darts there from the Dutchman. And it could be 59. A result. January requires 61. Ingredient. Six for tops. Now I went for 14 to lead double 16, as you can see. This is his choice. This is his double, and that's yes, why. And the fourth leg. Well, a Jan super Andrew break Sir. back, and uh, the 180 Fifth set it up Jan nicely. Two, 241 Rufus. taken out in six Game starts. On, First start at the double goes in. That's uh, impressive. Not quite so, the follow-up. 85. It has been an interesting world championship so far, even though we're still in the first 68. round. For the arrival of uh, so many interesting new representatives of new countries on the scene, but also we know that the Dutch are really having a strong attack at this championship and we should have known that uh, Nicholson coming out of Australia 93 and the Australians have a go to any sport they're usually more than useful John aren't they yes it was interesting to hear him 100. remember those who had helped him in the Absolutely. past in his native uh, northeast uh, but then add to that the contribution that's been made to his progress 55. since he moved to Australia by the uh, DPA, the Dark Players Australia. And uh, as we mentioned during 60. that match, uh, more than one Australian player said to be coming to settle here because the PDC circuit has started a gold rush. Well, 98. Judging by Nicholson's uh, liking for the weather, a cold rush as well, I think. <laughs> wow. <laughs> We've got eight inches of snow in Las Vegas 60. where we were last week. Yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah, 170. <laughs> well, top finish here, just the wrong side of the wire. All the years we've been going to Las Vegas, John, I think we've only seen three once there. Van der Russell in a position of strength and power and influence should really win this leg and uh, win the set. Yes, Kurt yeah, Shepard took out 87. that 106 finish beautifully and uh, since then has produced little. And deservedly, the left-handed Dutchman is now throwing for the set. Double 18 he wants then. No problem, yeah, no Russell. problem for yeah, Van der Russell. Russell. And the Dutchman just edging that opening set against last year's runner-up, Kirk Shepard van der Russell, one up. And uh, we'll see his darts and on our super slow. And when you watch this dart, you see it doesn't spin at all. It keeps quite static in its flight path. Now, 
Paul Nicholson, we watched his dart, was spinning like a torpedo. Now, somebody somewhere should be able to explain this. I'm sure the players themselves just don't understand why one of them spins, some of them lift off, some of them go straight. Um, unlike a spin bowler in uh, in cricket, they know what they're Second doing. The, these guys are, it's purely intuitive. Perfect. I think they're right, yes. And uh, obviously, it, it's to do with the, the way the dart leaves the hand at the time of the 140. Leaves. And... Uh, that's about as expert as I can uh, claim to be on the subject. But uh, there you have it, the Van der Rassel release and throw very accurately. It's all over in a split second. Our slow mo breaks it down beautifully. 140. Uh, the 140 is the outcome, whichever way you do it. And however slowly they go through the air or otherwise. New purpose about Kirk Shepherd. He knows he can ill afford to let uh, the Dutchman win this set against the throw. 45. This is useful. 140. Plenty of room for the other one. Thought we might see it. Just the 1 180 in this match so far. The Dutchman here. Pinning the three treble twenties. 140. In the third leg Kirk of the previous set. 136. 136 then. 56 left. 96. Good darts. Ought to win this leg. Clipping along too at a fair pace, Kirk Shepherd. The Dutchman, a much more deliberate, measured thrower. 60. Can you 40? Well, the first leg with the throw. Yes, and the first leg. And work them right, to say the very least. Second leg, yeah, Ronnie to the the man game on. Crowd there. Yeah, Ronnie on the hockey tonight, first game on, if my memory serves me right. Yes, against the Finnish uh, impressive Finn, Marco Cantelli. 100. Who beat a Filipino last night, and Ronnie will be aware that uh, the Finn the guy that's hit the scene. 140. Well, we had a placard there. Uh. 135. Thought we might see a maximum for a moment. Had a placard there with Captain Kirk written on it. There'll be plenty more later with rockets galore. 59. Yep, we all are, well and truly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, very good, very good. 58. Bit like a shepherd's crook. Well, my other players are woolly ballons, are they? 168. Great 168 from Shepherd there. Takes him on to 134. And uh, puts him in with a really good chance of breaking the throw here and uh, leveling 45. up soon, perhaps in sets. Taking his dart at a time, though. 58. Well, Van der Vassel carelessly has left himself on 163, which is a non checkout. I travel 70, 83 now going. So let's see which it goes. Yes. Good shooting. Good shooting. Put pressure on Shepard here. Shepard's got to hit the 76 now. 16 would leave tops, of course. Important dart. 36. Well, Van der Russell's earned the chance to have a 32. shot at this and level up 32 he wants. Served him well once, and served him well twice. Leg. Almost Can in the same place as well. Third leg, Kirk to Rover. Game on. So both the opening legs of the second set going with the darts and Shepherd making prodigious inroads with his opening darts with leg three. And coming next, well, we saw a glimpse of Ronnie match. That's the evening session, the opening match against Marco Cantelli. And uh, that's no pushover for the Rocket Man. 97. Colin Osborne, always a crisp, efficient performer. 
against the uh, South African Charles Losper. Again, he's no international mug. Dead right. And then the left handed James Wade against Brendan Dolan, the Irishman who reckons he's probably the only man in this establishment thinks he's, that he's going to win that game. And finally, quick fire, Van der Voort against Bezek, and that should complete 60. day five. Well, Bezek is a Hungarian. I think he might be the first Hungarian we've seen in the World Championship. But next day, Tony Eccles, the fight back. 66. Against the man who took out Anastasia the Bromislofa a couple of days ago. That will be interesting. Indeed, they all will be, folks. Don't miss a dart. 60. Can you require 115? For 2 1, 115. Travel 18 on the ball. No double top. Good finish this would be. And he's low. Yeah, not a bad idea on 115 going for the ball. You've got two targets with each of the darts, really. Nothing wrong with it. Even if you get 325s, it leaves tops, you see. A 20 he wants then, double 10. Uh, a little way off, he wants double eight. He's gone for four, deliberately gone for four, double eight. And uh, who blames him when he can do it as easily as that? There's his father, Keith, giving us a smile. Happy there that his son has managed to take out the double and uh, go 2 1 up in this second set, having lost the first set. Shepard much more convincing in this uh, second set. He just lost the first on the final Easy. leg. But he's held his throw. And if he can break the Dutchman here, it'll be all square. Kirk Shepard looking determined to have another satisfying adventure 59. at Alexander Palace this year. After his success, of course, last year, beating Jenkins, beating Manley, beating Martin, big names, big sculpts. He competed in Bolton, don't remember him doing very much there at the UK Open, John, and in the Grand Slam of Darts, and don't think he made much of an impact there, but clearly he likes the environments and the atmosphere of Alexander Palace. 100. Well, however many shepherds are abiding in the fields watching over their flocks, there's one fewer while the World Championships are on, Dave. And this lad beginning to turn it on a little bit here. That's a great shot. What a chance now for him to take this second set. Good, great reply, great reply, good game this, Shepard now. Oh, careless, careless, careless. Yes, tops. Rectifies matters absolutely perfectly, yeah, just misses top. So here we go, Van der Russell. 20 for tops. 58. Unconvincing head scratcher. So Shepard, his chance. Tops. Good marker. Good shot. Good game. In the sack. Kirk. An intriguing afternoon's play here was uh, new comments shooting Game across on. the sky, it has to be said. And still to come tonight, Ronnie Baxter and James Wade to put the brandy butter One on the Christmas pud. Yep. Uh, completion of the first round later tonight. And then uh, 32 yeah. players will return. The first 180 for him, the second of the match. Well, that's the sort of play we saw from him so often last year. Yes, Will he? we see more now? He's an interesting guy, isn't he? Because, as you rightly said, John, last year, he, he took advantage. He rode his luck, in fairness, but he did it brilliantly well. And, and 
earlier on in this match he was indifferent but here he comes now he, he he's a, he paces himself he, he's a crafty old blindside runner isn't he very much a rhythm thrower well, as well and if he's doing well uh, who knows what can happen Well, this, this could be an interest could be a 12 dot finish here double 14 now oh. 93 it's a bold effort yeah, going, going bold <laughs> yes it was indeed <laughs> yes yes to go back to it he went for the treble 11 knowing the single 11 would leave 60. the ball yeah, double 14 with a little more measured purpose than before I think he rather rushed it before the truth be known 14 he's score. given his opponent a chance here Daniel that he Ryan might not have uh, been entitled to yeah, having done the hard work Shepherd could all be in vain van der Rassel taking his time looking at the target mm -hmm. 16 score. So another and chance for Shepard, who may determine to go other than double seven. He may determine to go a different way as he wants double two. That's yeah, good thinking. You see, you've got ten and six together on that right hand side of the board. Massive target. And you guarantee two darts at a decent double rather than three at uh, an awkward one. I think that's good thinking. Well, six leaves double four, ten leaves double two. Beautiful. Oh. It's good thinking if Thank it works. You, Edmund, please show some respect to the players. Thank you. So that's what the uh, third leg on the spin for Shepard, who's pushed his average up to 83. 97. Nothing much to worry the Guinness Book of Records. In fairness, it's been a meat and potatoes match so far, but uh, it might well develop into a tasty feast. I thought the pieman was on earlier. <laughs> Lost, of course, the pieman. 3-2. Earlier, as we get another 180 this time from the Dutchman. 46. Yes, it was Tony Ayres, the man from uh, Billingshurst in West Sussex, who... Managed to beat Andy Smith for Pyman. First game on. Forty-six. Well, that uh, yeah, was a little monstrous throwing from Shepard, which has allowed Van der Russell into a position of some comfort here. Ninety-two. Well, it's Van der Russell who's uh, holding sway here, no doubt about that. He's on a 13 dart finish. Suddenly. 60. Jan, you required 32. On his best form. He's hit this a couple of times already. Here's Make that three leg. at least. Jan van der and uh, break Third back leg. immediately Jan for the Dutchman. Rover. All square could not Game be better on. balanced thanks to that dart in that double. Absolutely levels your devils. And uh, what about a point in the averages between them? And uh, four points 60. between them in the percentage uh, checkouts in favor of Randall Russell. 59. Just when we thought that uh, Shepard was beginning to get his teeth into the juggler here he just seems to have lost his way slightly 100 time. yes it's finding that level of consistency probably applies to both players they've both shown us what they are capable of when at their best but uh, erratic found a wrestle one of these laid back dutch characters there seem to be a stolid quality about their character and personality. So many of them, Roland Shulton, taciturn, so far laid back, you can almost 
kiss his own Achilles heel. 59. <laughs> Shepherds flock are here, lads. And not a crook among them. <laughs> <laughs> One or two sheepish looked <laughs> as the camera zoomed in on them. Unlucky for the lot. Unlucky for the lot. Can you require 141? Now then, Treble, 19, would have left double 12, but he was a mile away. Comparatively. Now then, 145 for Shepherd. Gets the Treble, would have been Treble 15. Might be 25 now. 65. Can you require 47? So to go 2 1 up. Now then, double 16 he wants, having hit the big 15. And again, yeah, that double five. 16 is kind yeah, to seven. him. And again, oh, he man. takes Can the lead. Reference. Have you got any, well, just watch uh, Shepherd here oh. kick off with 180, John. I was going to ask you if you've got any theories about the fact that Van der Russell, a left-handed player, does seem to heavily favour the left-hand doubles. Yes, likes that double 16 for certain. I, I, I really do believe that, the, and I think most players, most darts players would agree with me, you do have your favourite doubles, and obviously double 16 is a favourite for many players for a very obvious reason. It's the perfect breakdown double. 55. You don't have to if you single 16, you 8, 4, 2, 1, the perfect breakdown double. And that's the reason why so many players go that way. But uh, there are favourite doubles. Double 12 uh, can be a favourite. Double 18, double top, we know. And uh, But there are days when you can't hit your favourite number and you're hitting all the others. Uh, it, it's unpredictable 55. sometimes for a player. But each player does have his favourite double. And obviously, Van der Russell likes to finish on double 16 if he possibly can. Wayne Mardle likes double 18, and we remember dear old Shane Burgess always used to try and end on double 18. 140! And the, 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 the one that stands out in my mind, our colleague Rod Harrington, although he was a double top, but his next favourite double was 19, you remember. 100! Uh, don't see that very often. Rod, Rod missed them with equal consistency. <laughs> <laughs> That's unkind. Yes, unkind. Because oh, well. he's not even here to reply immediately and defend himself. 96. Well, he got to world Can't number one, so he must have been hitting a few. Yeah, Shepherd. World, world, world master, world match play twice. Finalist in the world championship. He wasn't a bad player when you come to 64. think of it. He was an Can exceptional player and he's developing into... Very mature and well respected media man as well. Well, Shepard will be having a go here at 47. Now, uh, Van der Russell wanted 47, big 15, double 16, and we could be going back to where we were uh, a moment or two ago debating favourite doubles, seven for double top, 15 for double 16. That's his preferred route as well. And there and is the reason why. Good Clean job. as a whistle, two legs all, leg, in the third two, set, a pivotal up. part of the match. Get this is the biggest leg of the match so far. And for obvious reasons, the winner goes a set up and one set away from a place in round two. The loser 60. will have to provide a fight back. And it is perhaps Shepard with the greater incentive because if he can steal this leg and this set against the throw he would then have the throw and that just might be, be the difference there's not a lot between these two players and uh, it's just these mere fractions that could sort it out having the throw in the deciding set uh, means not a lot having the throw in the 32. fourth set if you throw in for the match what an advantage yes. that can be dave yeah absolutely and of course uh, for the non-aficionados, it's because of the final set has got to be won by two, three legs. But this, as you rightly say, John, is a really important leg. Well, Shepard 
73 behind, but making inroads. Another treble will make life very interesting indeed. Well, he got one, and it still is interesting. Advantage van der Rassel just 22 ahead plus these. Oh, that's good shooting. Very good cover work from van der Rassel. Puts the pressure on the young man from Ramsgate. 58. Very aptly from Ramsgate with a name like Shepard when you think about it. Though, as I say, he, he did remind me that he's 59. now resident in Birmingham and. Uh, <laughs> well, there aren't a lot of shepherds. Well, there aren't, no, there aren't too many, no. <laughs> I think the, the, all the shepherds in Birmingham are all in the telephone directories. 40. Well, Van der Rassel knows he's got six starts at this one, one six to go two one into the lead, and yes, yeah, spike the ambitions of uh, Kirk Shepherd. Shepherd on 189. Van der Rassel will just try to tidy this up, although now he's in a situation where he can go for it. Double top for the set. Well, he'll be back to have another chance, and we saw a moment ago a picture of his uh, wife, Ellie, uh, obviously hoping that uh, Van der Rassel will 59. take this and yeah. win the set. There she is, and uh, his daughter, Wendy, and uh, his manager, Peter, and uh, they'll all be happy now because Van der Rassel has gone two sets to one on, and his manager, his wife, and his daughter there can, well... Breathe a sigh of relief, temporarily anyway, far from over this match, especially 59. with Shepard having the darts in this set. We could be going all the way. What a nice position for the Dutchman to be in. We saw Ellie on the telly, and her old man giving it well. Well, that's his third 180, and a very timely one it is too. 60. Because it gives him a chance here, perhaps, of breaking the throw. Yes, important, not to say crucial moments in this match. 60. And that uh, gives Shepherd a slightly ajar door to kick open. Brilliant darts, brilliant darts, young man. 22 years of age, let's remember that. Uh, that was terrific throwing and deserved really the full house. Yeah, and, and Van der Rassel is strictly come dancing along the hockey. 60. But uh, not winning many points for a rhythm. No, I won't get my vote for that one anyway. He will for that last dart because it puts him on a three dart finish. Competitive leg like this. Van der Rassel looking at the scores carefully, both his and his opponents. Oh, lots of room in the bed. Yeah, uh, came out for 25, that's good thinking as well. Leaving the two dark finish though, 161 for Shepard. Uh, 79 scored, so it's 82 left. Oh, 32 left, brilliant. Yes, <laughs> went for the ball there. Quite deliberately to leave himself on double 16 and uh, what a beautiful setup that was from Shepard super thinking great thinking and, and that ball has made the difference there picking out the shots that's why Shepard's delight there'll be some delight at that shot because that dart really rounded off a purple patch for this young man Yes, and it might be a red sky in the morning warning for the Dutchman because that was brilliant. A 140 earlier in the leg that with a little bit of luck would have been a maximum. Picking out an 81 shot with a last dart treble 20. Things like that matter to players. And uh, then setting up the 32 so brilliantly from 161. Well, we had uh, 
Van der Russell going into the lead early on during the first set. Squaring it in the second set, Kirk Shefford. Shefford then moved ahead for one leg in the first leg of the third set. Van der Russell came back at Six him, so can Kirk Shefford again reverse the score line in a match of fluctuating fortunes. Well balanced, equally matched. Fine darts match. You won't be happy with that. 66. So that's the <laughs> the 60 did retrieve the situation. Yes. Uh, another third dart to face saver. They're providing them at the moment, aren't they, Dave? Still, it's Shepard uh, with the advantage here against the throw to go 2 nil up in this fourth set and take us closer to a decider. Kirkley requires 62. 20 for double 16, that's his favourite side of the board and that's yeah, why you can see and another clinical finish. From well, Game on. that double 16's taking a right pounding here this afternoon from these two can't remember the last time they missed it Do you remember a shot at double eight double four in, in in recent times i can't been good shooting at that double 16. van der Els, van der russell rather has had four missed starts at doubles in the last set and uh kirk shepherd has only had by my reckoning missed doubles on the first leg of the last set when he won the leg anyway so it wouldn't matter 28 three-figure scores for Shepard, 27 for Van der Russell. Tells you how close this game is. Shepard has won nine legs, Van der Russell seven, 40. but Van der Russell ahead in sets, though Shepard looks likely to, to uh, set up uh, a decider, and they're virtually the same on the percentage checkout. All in all, 85. a pretty even contest. And nobody rushing to the bookmakers to bet on this one with any confidence. 139. Helps a bit, 225, but still 40 behind Shepard here. He'll be wanting to finish this off here. 59. Take us into the deciding set. Won't want to have the nervous job of taking it any further than he need. Yes, if, if Shepherd Shepherd should lose this leg, Avander Russell would have the darts to make it a really nervy job. Single leaves him the ball, having a good look there. Avander Russell's on a shot. Oh, doesn't matter. Super, super, super. Drop the dart, picked it up, threw it at the ball, just like that. Brilliant stuff. Exhibition darts, there she is. Oh, oh yes, I like that, says the 22 year old. Well, I've just seen nonchalance personified. Pick the dart up off the floor and straight in she went. And Shepard has just found that extra gear at a really important moment. 58. Won the set to love there. If he can maintain that kind of rhythm and range and confidence, then he will just about take this match. But 46. he's got to bait Van der Russell's throw either here or in the third leg. Yes, 96. and uh, Shepard has to break Van der Russell somewhere along the line, and vice versa if uh, he's to win this match now, because this is the deciding set. And uh, other than a 3 0 score line, either way, it has to be won by two clear legs, whatever. And we've just had a 3 0 and a thriller 3 0. What a way to end it! <laughs> Oh yes, young man, great exhibitionist, love the moment, why not? 60. Shepard will be, and his followers, will be gaining confidence because 
he hasn't had things his own way. He's looked a little bit out of sorts at times, but he's dug deep. He's kicked in. And uh, now, if he can win this leg against the throw, he'll be on a real snowball wall. Needs the treble. Needs another. Fantastic, fantastic. Yes, Kirk is my shepherd. Reference, I've no doubt, to Psalm 23, somewhere along the line there, but that was a brilliant, brilliant uh, performance by Shepherd there. 140, superbly executed. And in a position, Dave, accordingly now to make the final, or rather, important break. May not be the final one. Oh, and now Van der Russell on 80. January Two darts 80. for the break there from Shefford. Now Van der Russell knows that uh, he needs to say to you. 20 got to aim high, got to miss the treble. And now he wants tops. Oh, that is coolness personified. Under considerable pressure. And Kirk Shepherd will perhaps regret and consider those missed doubles as that dart hits home. Yes, uh, because the double 16 has been uh, such a reliable one for him. And then the moment where he's got the chance of the break in the vital last set, it lets him down. But uh, that's darts. One minute you pick a dart up off the floor and put it straight in the ball that you want. The next minute you can have two clean, two clean darts at double 16. Nowhere near. And now, now of course, uh, Kirk Shepherd has got to be careful. Can't afford to lose this leg. Otherwise, he's uh, looking down the cannon. Steady, isn't he, Van der Russell? And uh, oh, the longer point. the game's gone, the steadier he's become. 100. Mm, nobody giving much away here. Shepard still just about hanging on to the throw, as indeed he needs. What a lovely opening throw. 100. Again, good steady tons and... Uh, Putting added pressure on this young man. The set 60. That both players so desperately, desperately wants to win. To go into round two of the World Championship 64. after Christmas and beat uh, a meet, maybe beat Yella Klassen on December the 28th. 60. Yes. It yeah, might have been advised coming elsewhere, not much of that treble showing. 137 for Van der Russell. Mm. 57. Both players, one fancies, are feeling the pace. 96 for Shepard. Treble 20. Staying there. 16. Oh, 72. He won't mind that. At least no. 24. And Van der Russell, therefore, to go two legs up in this decisive, deciding set, will uh, attempt to hit single 20 and the tops, which won him the previous leg and the set. 60. Oh, the previous leg, rather, which it looked as though Shepard would win. 24. And again, could be a critical miss. But uh, Kirk Shepard's got to hit this one. Double six. This is a vitally important dart. Yeah, he makes it pay. Oh, Shepard plan getting rather excited. You can understand that had to go, didn't it? And my, 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 kept his cool. <laughs> Uh, that is uh, pretty much as useful as a maximum, really. You, have to, you really have to construe that as a maximum. It isn't a maximum, but you know what I mean. I know what you mean, and uh, I always think there should be 
Scores between 171 and 180 should count, uh, in, certainly in the bookies' terms, anyway, as uh, <laughs> maximums. 60! We saw somebody get three treble 19s the other day, didn't That's we? Right. Uh, uh, 171. And yet these days, uh, John, there isn't a single player uh, that I've seen in the, in the last 10 years or more who plays on 19s. And there used to be years ago pub players, a lot of pub 100. players, used, used to throw on 19s. There was a Belgian called Andre Leclerc, I remember, came across for a Nations Cup. And he was an old guy, lovely old guy, a bit like uh, John McGowan. And he played on 19s. He was the last one I can remember. Bet against a tie break situation here by any stretch of imagination. 96. To leave 146, 104. but it could be Van der Rassel first to the double here with throw, the left hander. Oh, that's a stray one though. And 103 left. Needs now treble 17. 38. So, uh, who Gregory knows? 146. Wow. This would be a real cup and push there if he could do it. Could be 55. the emphasis swinging back yeah, towards the Dutchman, 66. treble 10. I went for the ball. 16 scored. Double 16 he wants now, I think, Dave. If that first starts in 16, then uh, 50 left, 18 leaves double 16. He right. got it as well, yeah, got it. Better. Oh, well, that wasn't the route he intended initially, but uh, if you can rectify matters as he did then, why not? And he's been pretty, pretty hot on that double 16 as Van der Assel. Now it's Van der Assel in the vanguard here. 2-1 up and two sets all. A uh, victory in this set would give him the match, and what an opportunity, Dave. Yes, not a, not a very bright opening from Shepard. And the Rass are not really capitalising until that last start. Twenty-six. Oh. Only 26, 20 and two treble ones. What an opportunity for the left-handed Dutchman to really strike home the advantage now. And he knows it, you can tell by the purposeful way he steps to the hockey. Yes, he's, he's won the darts very early on here. He's just got to construct a solid leg here, and victory surely will be within his grasp. But will his reach be beyond his grasp? We will see as uh, Shepard now picks up the pieces, but the effort might just be too late. Van der Brassel, you can see from the captioning there. Only a whisker away. He's won the darts back. He surges in front now. Getting geometry 100. sorted out there, not that well, but uh, pensive faces in the family groups. Nice fighting back well, though. Ton 40, followed by 135, puts him on a three-dart finish, but you've still got to say, advantage van der Russell. A lot depends on what happens with this dart. 100. Gets the ton, what a good Can last dart. Shepard to save his skin, 160. been a beautifully balanced match 55. not much between two players but we are now coming to the climax 101 treble 19 now three tens yes 69. and it means that Kirk Shepard really John has got to hit this 105 yeah so last year's runner-up wants treble 15 for tops Double 14 he wants, oh this is a big, big dart, he deliberately went for 57, double 14 to save the match, oh just outside, just outside, and the runner up from 2008 could be going home in the first round here in 2009, I know it's still 2008 but it's the 2009 event, here we go, left hander at double 16. That's the target. That's the pathfinder. 
No double eights. Shepherd's followers are on their knees, and Kirk Shepherd has got out of jail, John Gwynn. Kirk required 28. Well, I reckon that he put his crook away. And now a fraction inside. Yes, always fancied after that first dart that he would keep his cool and plant that dart in double 14. But three match points. And remarkably, Dave Lanning on the double that has hardly failed him during this match, Van der Russell, when it comes to crunch time, cannot pin it. And it now means they must win by two clear legs. And we just wonder psychologically how that will affect the Dutchman. Three clean shots 90. at a double to win the match and book a date with his fellow countryman Jelle Klassen in the second round and guarantee himself 8,000. And Kirk oh, Shepard now seems like a man possessed. Yeah, watch me go now, says Kirk, and uh, kicks off with a ton 40. Well, last year was a story of Kirk Shepard getting away with it. This time last year it was against Terry Jenkins, later it was against Peter Manley, against Wayne Mardell and so on. And 100. it's happened yeah, again so right. far tonight, three match points there. I wonder if in a... Weeks time, ten days time. We're saying all over again. It's been one of those tournaments for Kirk Shepherd. Well, seventy-two. We all know Shepherds have done some impressive work around about this time of the year. Can young Kirk maintain that tradition? Eighty-nine. Oh, that's unlucky. Just the wrong side of the wire. 83. And you require 123. Should stay there. Yeah, straight last start to set up that Kirk double 16. I wonder if he'll hit it first up this time like he wanted to last time. Double 18. Oh, 18. just under. So Russell yeah, here to hold 32. his throw. Van der Russell wants double 16. Just a few minutes ago, it let him down. This yeah, time he didn't, and I'm, he's thinking, you can tell there by his reaction, why couldn't I do that a few minutes ago? I'd have been off the stage and uh, looking forward to a meeting with uh, Jelle Klassen. And now... It's uh, Van der Russell, who knows that an impressive, powerful, muscle-packing leg could carry him forward. And once again, Kirk Shepherd and his followers must be hoping that his fairy godmother hasn't put the magic wand away for the season. Great chance with the score here. 100. 100. But equally a chance for Van der Russell if he can put a 140. Big ton in. Won't now, though. 95. Ah, good last start, though. 171 left. Uh, 166, rather. It's a, it's a, a, a bogey number, but uh, in these circumstances, he won't 60. mind that. He can set this up nicely. Set this up very nicely. It's going to be a close call. 144 for Shepherd. Mm, came for 54. 84. 60 when he goes. This for a place in round two. Double 16. It's let him down before, but is he going to this time? It doesn't. This time it doesn't. Found the wrestle. Manages to hit the double and he takes out.